Casting. We are here today in Briesen for our Aspen Leadership Seminar, Philosophy and Practice 2022. That's a very special seminar because it's our first seminar in person since the pandemic hit, and you are one of our participants. Tell us, what drew you to the Aspen Leadership Seminar? I was first introduced by a friend who attended a few years back and was very excited about the format and the connection she built based on that seminar. And my objective was to both reflect and renew. I knew that it's a beautiful location and we also have some time to step back from our daily work and it's amazing to have the space to engage with original text, be it Kant or uh, Hernando de Soto or Aristotle and have some time to reflect on those questions like what makes us human, um, what makes a good leader and what kind of leader I would like to be. The seminar is all about value-based leadership. How do you believe can we strengthen value-based leadership in our society today? <laughs> Big question. Um, I guess uh, to start with, um, I would ask what are values? Um, what are shared values? And how do we define leadership? And let me begin with that second question. How do I define leadership? In, in my understanding, there are more than 50 different definitions in the world and ultimately it's how I, as a potential leader, define what leadership is, what kind of vision I have, what kind of positive image of the future and how can I create energy in myself as a potential leader as well as uh, the people around me to, to achieve that vision. and. Yeah, what, what kind of vision of the future do, do we have, does the Aspen Institute have and what kind of values are needed in order to, to achieve that vision of a more um, just uh, and, and fair um, global world. And with regard to the values, um, I have a background in positive psychology, the science of happiness and well-being and what's quite interesting is the work that Martin Seligman and Chris Peterson did um, many years back, probably 20 years ago, uh, where they asked um, what are shared values of humankind and they did a huge piece of research. Um, they looked different religions, different nationalities, different languages and came up with six virtues and uh, 24 what they called values and translated these values in action, what they called it, into strengths. And I guess going forward, if we want to cultivate values-based leadership, we need to start very early in kindergarten, in school and raise these questions like, who are you? Who do you want to be? And what are shared values all human beings can say yes to. Thank you very much for sharing your ideas with us. Um, and what would you say are your key takeaways from this seminar? Key takeaways from this seminar, we are in the middle of it, so it's just an interim um, insight, I guess. Uh, it's the very strong reminder how our perception of the world affects our beliefs, our opinions, so the role of mindsets and how these mindsets then translate in behavior. I think you can note in the discussion that we have with people from various backgrounds how based on the same reading some react very positively, whereas others have very strong opinions against the, the writer. And it's quite amazing and important to always remind ourselves that our worldview is just a perception and it's key to, to listen to other perspectives uh, in order to 
develop a shared vision for the future. Thank you very much, Castine. We're thrilled that you're here and we wish you a great rest of the seminar. <laughs>